चलो विद्यार्थी मित्रों आप एक डिस्कशन कर लीए त्यारबाद विडियो सेशन तरफ आगे डिस्कशन में आप केपलर लो जे से सॉरी विडियो लैक्चर अंदर केपलर लो जो केपलर्स लो जो त्यारबाद आप आग बसू एम हम अतरे आप काम करने एकम कसोटी ने रिलेटेड करने काम एकम कसोटी अंदर अगियार धोरण अंदर एकम कसोटी में चेप्टर नंबर आठ में एक खाली जगह थी जो घना स्टूडेंट ने प्रॉब्लम पड़े तो ये खाली जगह जो है ये कहीं थी कि गुरुत्वाकर्षी अचड़ांक गुरुत्वाकर्षी अचड़ांक गुरुत्व प्रवेग वच्चे संबंध गुरुत्वाकर्षी अचड़ांक गुरुत्वा प्रवेग वच्चे जे पारिमाणिक सूत्र है य बने गुणोत्तर थी मत ये समझा आप कई रीते मे यु आंसर तो घना से जी नो यूनिट लखे तो ये लख चलो तो गुरुता गुरुत्वाकर्षी अचनाक गुरुत्वाकर्षी अचनाक गुरुत्व प्रवेग गुरुत्वाकर्षी अचड़ांक गुरुत्व प्रवेग नो गुणोत्तर तो विद्यार्थी मित्रों आ बने गुणोत्तर आप गुरुत्वाकर्षी अचड़ांक गुरुत्व प्रवेग त्यार पारिमाणिक सूत्र अचड़ांक न पारिमाणिक सूत्र में तो पेला विद्यार्थी मित्रों अपने अचड़ांक पारिमाणिक सूत्र की बात कर अचड़ांक न पारिमाणिक सूत्र शु बन स तो जो ही है। जी छे, जी बाई जी आपने छे। तो पहला आपने विद्यार्थी मित्रों जो है कि केपिटल जी एनु जे सूत्र है ये शू तो आप लास्ट लेक्चर में जुड़ू तू एफ इक्वल टू केपिटल जी एम वन एम टू अपोन आर स्क्वेर चलो तो एफ इक्वल टू केपिटल जी एम वन एम टू अपोन आर स्क्वेर एक सूत्र जुड़ू हम एम अपने जी ने सब्जेक्ट करे करता कर एफ आर स्क्वेर आदमी में एम वन एम टू आ ट्रांसफर करव पड़ से एम एल टी अंदर तो 
तो आने एम एल टी अंदर ट्रांसलेट करने विद्यार्थी मित्रों एल टू प्लस वन टी मैनस वन एल माइनस टू चलो तो आर्सन इरेज कर समझाई पारिमाणिक सूत्र पर आप कही सकते कि समय पर आधारित नहीं चलो समझ विद्यार्थी मित्रों हमें बात करे अपने आनी कि एना मूल्य कि मूल्य है शू जो एन गुणोत्तर शू मैसे कैपिटल जी नेद में शू जी ए मूल्य ना गुणोत्तर तो आ पॉइंट सड़सठ गुणिया दस माइनस अगियार घात है आनु नौ पॉइंट आठ सरल पड़े एट हूँ दस लई लू छू चलो छ पॉइंट सड़सठ ना छेद में दस दस ए माइनस ए छइट सड़सठ गुणिया दस नी माइनस दस आ आंसर हे सॉरी ऊपर जैसे दस नी माइनस बार आशे एक ऊपर जैसे इनवर्स था दस नी माइनस अगियार एनी अंदर हजी एक घात आप एड कर दी है चलो विद्यार्थी मित्रों हम आप विडियो सेशन जो राखेलू है ये स्टार्ट करिए केपलर जो लो है साथ एना प्लेनेटरी मॉडल है ये वर्षो पहला बदा साइंटिस्टो शू मानता था यू एक प्लेनेटरी मॉडल एक आखो चार्ट है ये जो चलो तो ये जो है हमें अपने विडियो सेशन से स्टार्ट करिए चलो विद्यार्थी मित्रों तो हमें विडियो सेशन जो है स्टार्ट करिए आप मूलभूत रीते तब समझ लो जे दीर्घ अक्ष है एम खास कर तीजो निम है क्षेत्रफल निम है पेलो निम तो लगभग बदाने समझाई गये 
પેલો નિયમ છે એવું દર્શાવે છે કે કક્ષાનો નિયમ છે તો કક્ષાનો નિયમ એ કે સૂર્ય એક કેન્દ્ર છે અને એની ફરતે બધા પરિભ્રમણ કરતા સ્ટાર કોઈ એક કેન્દ્રને અનુલક્ષીને પરિભ્રમણ કરતા હોય છે તો એ ફર્સ્ટ લો થયો તો ફર્સ્ટ લો તો બેઝિક છે બધાને આવડતો હશે પણ જે એના પછીનો જે લો છે પછીનો જે લો છે ક્ષેત્રફળ માટેનો એટલે એમાં તમને મેં કીધું છે એરિયલ વેલોસિટી કે બધા ગ્રહો છે એનો આવર્તકાળ દ્વારા એ સરખા આવર્તકાળની અંદર સોરી સરખા સમયગાળાની અંદર ઘેરાતું ક્ષેત્રફળ સરખું જ હોય છે સરખા સમયગાળાની અંદર ઘેરાતું ક્ષેત્રફળ સમાન જ હોય છે તો એ લો પણ તમે જાણો છો વિદ્યાર્થી મિત્રો અને થર્ડ લો છે એ થોડો ડિફિકલ્ટ છે તમારે સમજવા માટે કે એક પરિભ્રમણ થવા માટે કેટલો ટાઈમ લાગે એ આવર્તકાળ અને દીર્ઘ અક્ષ અર્ધ દીર્ઘ અક્ષના ઘનના વ્યસ પ્રમાણમાં હોય છે એનો એક અચળાંક છે એટલે સમપ્રમાણમાં હોય છે બે આવર્તકાળનો વર્ગ અને અર્ધ દીર્ઘ અક્ષનો ક્યુબ એ સમપ્રમાણમાં હોય છે અને અચળાંક દૂર કરો તો ક્યુબ આવશે તો એ વ્યસ પ્રમાણમાં થઈ જશે तो आप स्टार्ट करिए इन दिस मॉड्यूल यू लर्न अबाउट केपलर्स लॉ ऑफ प्लेनेटरी मोशन द कॉन्फिगुरेशन एंड मोशन ऑफ द अर्थ द सन एंड द अदर प्लैनेट्स इन द सोलर सिस्टम वाज डिबेटेड फॉर एजेस टिल टोलेमी a greek scientist put forward his geocentric theory his theory stated that the earth is at the center of the universe and that the planets stars and the sun revolve around the earth in circular orbits later copernicus a polish monk put forward his heliocentric theory which stated that sun is at the center of the solar system and that all the planets including the earth revolve around it in circular orbits and then johannes kepler building on the work by tycho brahe formulated the three famous laws of planetary motion that have been named after him they are the law of orbits the law of areas and the law of periods the first law the law of orbits states that all the planets revolve in elliptical orbits with the sun at one of the foci of the ellipse let us conduct an activity to better understand this fix a drawing sheet to a pin board select two points f1 and f2 on the board and fix two pins at the points Take a string of finite length and pass it through a small ring. Fix the two free ends of the string to the two pins located at F1 and F2. Pass a thin pencil through the small ring. Stretch the string taut at the tip of the pencil and draw a curve on the sheet by moving the pencil as shown. Take care that the string is taut while you draw the curve. 
the closed curve you observe is the ellipse. Points F1 and F2 are called the foci. The midpoint of AB, which is denoted as O, is the center of the ellipse. For any point P on the ellipse, the sum of the lengths PF1 and PF2 is constant. So, as per the first law, the sun is at one of the foci of the ellipse and the planets rotate around it in elliptical orbits. Also note that sum of the lengths PF1 and PF2 is always constant. Kepler's second law of planetary motion is the law of areas. According to this law, the line joining the sun and a planet sweeps equal areas in equal intervals of time. Consider a planet revolving around the sun. Let P1 and P2 represent its position at the start and end of a 30-day duration. Let A1 represent the area swept during this period. Similarly, let P3 and P4 represent two positions of the Earth during its revolution for a 30-day duration represented by A2. According to Kepler's second law of planetary motion, area A1 equals area A2. The concept of Kepler's second law can be understood by the fact that the angular momentum of the planet revolving in its orbit remains constant. This is because it is under the influence of a central force. The force of attraction pulls the planet towards the sun and the magnitude depends on the distance between them. For a body under the action of a central force, the angular momentum L, which is the product of MVR, remains constant. Here, R is the radius vector, V is the velocity vector and M the mass of the body. If P is the linear momentum of the body, then L is equal to R into P. If delta T is the time in which the radius vector sweeps an area, delta A, then delta A is equal to half multiplied by R multiplied by V delta T. Thus, delta A by delta T is equal to half R multiplied by V. On simplification, we get delta A by delta T is equal to half L by M. As L is constant, delta A by delta T is also constant. Hence, for a given time interval, delta T and delta A remain constant, thus proving Kepler's second law. Kepler's third law of planetary motion is called the law of periods. According to this law, the square of the time period of a planet is directly proportional to the cube of the semi-major axis of its elliptical orbit. That is, T squared is proportional to R cubed, where T is the time taken by the planet for one rotation and R is the length of the semi-major axis of its elliptical orbit. 
Kepler's laws revolutionized the field of astronomy and have helped people understand the configuration and movement of planets better. This brings you to the end of this module. In this module, you learned that Ptolemy formulated the geocentric theory while Copernicus formulated the heliocentric theory. Kepler's three laws of planetary motion are the law of orbits, the law of areas, this is because it is under the influence of a central force. The force of attraction pulls the planet towards the sun and the magnitude depends on the distance between for a body under the action of a central force, the angular pull to half r multiplied by v. On simplification, we get delta A by delta T is equal to half L by axis of its elliptical orbit. Kepler's laws revolutionized the field of astronomy and have helped people understand